Greetings, fellow humans. Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today I'm bringing you a keyboard from a new entrant or a newer entrant into the field. It is a 60% QMK and Vial. It has via key maps in the source because it's actually in the QMK source tree. Today we're going to take a look at the Flash Quark or Ryzen Z. Now, I got to say, for 2023, I think that this is an interesting pick. It is a 60% tray mount, north facing keyboard with a brass plate stock. Now it's $60, but considering that it has a brass plate, I think that that kind of justifies the price. It is well dampened as it has a nice thick sheet of um, foam or silicone between the plate and the PCB. And the body of it has substantiality. Um, we have the USB-C port in the center of the back. And where we would normally have a switch for on and off, it has a little peek into the window of where the reset button on the PCB is. So you don't have to take it apart in case you want to reset or put it into DFU mode so that you can flash your, your just compiled version of QMK. So, as I said, I did not find, even though it does have the VIA key map files, I was not unable to find uh, the actual JSON file for it in, um, in the source tree. Now, I could have made my own, but I didn't have the time to do that. So, included with this, Nigel from Flash Quark also sent over some of his switches. They're called the Quark switch. Now, this switch is made from a PC top, a nylon bottom, and a long pole palm stem. It also has a two-stage spring that's available in either 62 or 68 grams. And they do come factory lubed, and it's pretty good, as there is very minimal ping. Uh, these switches do sell on his site for 49 cents a piece. For being a linear, it was a nice, heavy linear. I did choose the 68 gram one, which I'm using in this build. As I said, this is your standard 60% case. It's nothing um, special in as far as, you know, what we're used to for off the shelf. But for having a few things that I know there's people out there that have asked because I've received the question, where is a north facing QMK via keyboard? They hardly exist. So I think that they are filling a niche that I know there are people out there that are looking for this north facing so that they can use the shine through keycaps. Some people like that and that's their preference and that's why they like to do it. So I think in this case, we are fulfilling that need. Um, it has some nice bright RGB. If we load it up in vial on the website uh, or in QMK, we can see the key mappings that it has for the different layers. Um, the caps lock key is being used as a, um, tap controller um, but obviously you can go ahead and make the changes in there so the design of the case is something um, should we should find familiar it's very common 60 percent design has a seven degree typing angle it does not have any extendable feet um, it does say that it's model gm 862 and that's what it via detects it as um, and because I, I know obviously via detects it so it does have the via key map flashed on here uh, but again, I will have to reach out to Nigel and see if um, he just forgot to upload the uh, via JSON for this. I went ahead and loaded up the cork switches. I find them to be nice, snappy, heavy. Uh, they do have a little bit of leaf spring ping. Um, I will be coming back to them and doing a, a just review of the switch. And I will probably do a set uh, or a number of them lubricated so that we can get a comparison of what they sound like but they're not a bad switch stock as is and loading it up on the board these keycaps are ppt die sub 8008 set and uh they're one of the i think you can find for like 14.99 sets on, on uh, aliexpress but i've always found that they actually deliver a nice 
clacky sound, so that's why I built them. I picked them for this build. I went ahead and uh, put everything together. I am going to be coming back to this board. I feel that it has a lot of potential for modding. It's going to depend on which switches you use, if you're going to have interference, if you're going to be using like older switches, as well as cherry uh, keycaps, especially if they're thicker, because um, you may have interference. It's not the board, it's the orientation of the LED. I enjoy this board. I know some people are gonna enjoy it a lot more. There's, I think that this f fills that niche for that group of people that do want via Vial, QMK, um, all the open source choices, and also want to be able to use shine through keycaps. Also having the bra brass plate as stock, I think uh, it's it's very interesting move. I, I can't think of too many in stock uh, keyboards besides the NJ80 that came with a brass plate as default. So I got to give Nigel props to that. He did, um, he sent this to me a little while ago, but he hadn't finished getting it into the QMK tree, but he did, and it's in there now. So uh, the QMK source can be downloaded and modified. Like I said, I didn't dive too deep into it, so I don't know if there's any per key RGB, but I'm going to ask Nigel that, as well as if um, he's uh, generated a uh, JSON file for BIA yet. Anyway, for today, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test. I didn't even put any lubrication on the stabilizers they're very well attached to the plate and despite not having i mean they're bone dry from everything that i can see i think they sound decent now when i come back to it obviously i will probably be changing that um, i'm definitely going to be making some changes to the inside of the case i think i can bring out a lot more life out of it but i'm actually quite impressed with how this thing sounds um, stock and for 59.99 like i said it would be questionable, but it has a brass plate, so I can kind of understand why it's a little bit pricier. But when you, if you look at an RK61, that's not on sale, probably it is many times listed for $59.99. So you're actually getting a much better deal, um, you know, with an actual brass plate rather than a steel plate and QMK buyer right out of the box. So I do hope that you guys enjoy uh, the sound test that I'm going to leave you guys with. If you guys got any questions or any suggestions for when I come back to this keyboard to mod it, please let me know in the comments down below. But let me know what you guys think. I'd like to know, I mean, I know I'm not the best at picking colors <laughs> and keycaps or mixing them, but you know, let me know. The hideous, it's all right, basic. Let me know. I, I'd like to hear. Um, I'm trying to get a little bit more creative. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this stock sound test of the Flash Quark Horizon C QMK 60%. And until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.